There is no better feeling than flowing effortlessly down a mountain bike trail, railing turns, absolutely kissing the backside of those jumps and hammering it nice and smoothly through those rough sections. No, it is literally the best feeling in the world. But finding that flow state, it's a little bit of a tricky one. So today we're gonna have a little look at how to find it and how to hopefully maintain it. Don't rush, take your time. Trying to ride too fast, but it's just counterintuitive. You're gonna go too quickly, you're gonna start making mistakes, you're gonna force some issues and errors. You're gonna lose your flow, man, and you don't wanna do that. In the wise words of Bob Lee Swagger, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. What a wise old owl he was. So next time you're out for a spin, just back it off a touch, rein her in a little, take it easy, enjoy it, find that flow state, that smoothness down the trails. And I tell you, you'll be smiling by the end of it. Check out these beauties. Yep, yeah, disc brakes on mountain bikes. These days are some pretty powerful things and grabbing a handful of them can get you in a spot of bother. So these XC brakes, they got plenty of power to slow me down, but if you've got like enduro or downhill four pot type discs, well then the amount of power that they give out can be absolutely unfathomable. So pulling on those too hard can cause the wheels to lock up. And while skids are pretty cool and good for slowing you down sometimes and changes of directions, things like that, a locked up front wheel, well that is gonna ruin your flow and end generally in disaster. Great tips here then to keep that flow nice and silky smooth is try not to do your braking in the turns, try and brake beforehand. Also, don't be grabbing too much of a handful. Yeah, modulation, try and be nice and smooth on both brakes, especially the front. That is gonna help you keep things nice and smooth, silky, and just flowing down that trail. So there are two ways to gain speed on a mountain bike, pedaling and pumping. Now pumping is far more conducive to our flow that we're trying to find here because it's using the actual trail itself to help generate speed and make you go faster. So pumping and pushing on rollers like this one up and over to generate that speed, rather than fighting the trail, having to pedal for every little bit of its worth is an amazing thing to be able to learn. In places like this, pump tracks or Blue Run's red flow trails at certain trail centers, they're amazing spots to absolutely dial in that flow that you're trying to get. So next up, one of the most common mistakes that even the most experienced riders do make, it's not looking ahead enough. It's not looking up and down the trail far enough. Now the problem with this, if you don't look far enough ahead, well then you're not gonna give yourself enough time to react to obstacles, to spot lines, or to maybe make any directional changes that need to be made. Try to avoid just sort of staring down at the front wheel like that. That ain't gonna help you, no, because especially the faster you go, the further ahead you need to look. So if you're going nice and steady, I would recommend a good three to four meters, maybe a little bit more. And like I said, as that speed increases, well then you wanna be looking much, much further down the trail. How far you look, well that's entirely up to you because, well, it's entirely sort of a personal judgment and a personal thing. But I would say sort of you're looking 10, 15 meters plus down the trail. I know it seems a very long way away, but like I said, the quicker you go, the faster these obstacles do come at you and the more time you need to react. Oh my. Sorry about that everyone. I was in a bit of a flow state of mind there. But what the heck even is that? Well, here is exactly what it is. It's a tricky one to explain. So what is that flow state? Well, I like to think of that flow state as being like water, like the reservoir here. So essentially, it's when your bike and your brain become one and you're just cruising down that trail and you know exactly what's going on underneath you and you're placing the bike where you want it to be and it all just seems effortless almost. And it just works, you know, like when it just clicks and you, you're just cruising down, like 
without a care in the world. And let's face it, that's why we all ride bikes, right? Just to get away from all the worries, to enjoy the outdoors and to escape all the woes of the world, as doom and gloom as that sounds. But anyway, let's end it there. We want, don't want to end on a negative note. Look, let me know what you think the flow state is. How do you find your flow out on the trails? Drop us a comment down below. As always, give us a little like and a subscribe. Help support the channel. But I'm going to go find my flow state right now. So for me, for now, I'm out of here. See ya.